Hi everyone, welcome to Nina Cucina. Today I am going to teach you one of the basics of cooking, how to portion fish. Now, as you guys know, portion control is very, very important to me. I think it is one of the keys to being thin. Now, when I have my fish in the fridge, this is what I, how I handle it. I've got it covered in plastic wrap. I always place it on a paper towel or two, just in case there's any moisture that comes out of the fish. It'll keep it nice and dry. So let's get this fish off of the paper towel and onto the work surface. I like using a plastic board when I'm portioning fish just so I can throw it in the dishwasher and get it totally disinfected. So this is my meat cutting board. I use it for all meats and I use my woodens for my veggies, etc. Now, before you start portioning, what you should do is just run your hand across the top of the fish. Now, this is a beautiful fillet out of Alaska, but right here, there are some bones, and you can feel them with your finger. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna take regular old tweezers. You could use, I've used needle nose pliers. I used to have a fancy pair of fish tweezers. Who knows what happened to them? I'm back to just having an extra pair of good old fashioned tweezers in my kitchen. And you're just gonna grab one and pull, just like tweezing your eyebrows, ladies, and just dump it right into the garbage can. Now, there's a few of them here, so I'm just going to continue to pull them out one by one. They come out really easily. You just have to get a good grip on it and give a good tug, pulling the same way as the grain. Now, that one's perfect now. Let's look for this one. I feel a few here, too. Even if you're getting a fish fillet, you are going to find some bones. And this is the way to save your guests the hassle of spitting them out at the table. Makes everybody happy. You don't have to look at it and they don't have to deal with it in their mouths. I feel one more. There we go. Great. Now, see all those bones were in that fillet of fish. So let's just get rid of them. Now, wipe my hands off a little bit here a kitchen scale. Everybody's got to have one of these in their kitchens. It's very important. This is the most important piece of equipment in your kitchen. But this one actually weighs in grams and in pounds. You could find this right on the Nina Cucina site. They're not expensive and they work like crazy. Oops, I found one more. First thing I'm going to do is weigh the whole filet. This one is just about 12 ounces. So I'm going to cut it right down the middle. Now I like serving six ounces to guys, four ounces to girls. And so it, that averages about, you know, five and a half ounces per person across the board. There we go. And I'm just going to place it right back on my plate. This one is a little bit heavier. So this is going to be a small luncheon portion because it's almost 14 ounces. Now, I'm not going to serve two people seven ounces a piece. I'm just, I'm just not doing it. This has got to be for three. So now what you've got to figure out is how you're going to do it so everybody gets an equal piece. So I'm going to just look at it like this and just give a slice. Now, that is over four ounces. That's more than I'm going to eat, that's for sure. And one, now take into account the thickness here. You've got thinner here and thicker here. So in order for things to cook evenly in your pan, you want them, the volume to be the same. So this piece is actually going to be a little wider than this one. Cut right through it, weigh it. Just over four ounces. Perfect. And this one is even almost five. This is four and three quarters. This one's four and a quarter. So these can be girl pieces. These are guy pieces. It is that simple. Now, look at that. You can do it yourself. You don't have to ask the fish guy to do it. That is how you portion fish.